Back in episode 26, we used the GraphQL code generator to type safe the resolvers for our GraphQL yoga server. Inside the codegen.yml, we set the plugin for the type strip resolvers. If you haven't worked with the GraphQL code generator before, then I highly recommend that you check this project out. It has a huge repository of different plugins that you can use to configure all of the different ways you can type safe your GraphQL server. We'll be using the context type config option today to type safe the context that we set on the server. Let's explore the codegen.yml. Here we have the schema and we have all of the different plugins that we're using to generate this types.ts file. If we look for the query resolver, we can see here that the generic context type is of type any. Obviously this gives us no type safety when working with context in the context of our server. When we invoke context, we can do structure request from the function and we can pass this along to context as well as a special context value that we set. If we have a look inside of our resolver, we have no type safety for the context if we want to see what we can use from that context. Now let's go ahead and export a new interface for GraphQL context. We'll extend the yoga initial context and this may change in the future, but for now let's extend this and add special context value as of type number. And you can import yoga initial context from the GraphQL yoga node package. If we scroll down to where we invoke create server, this accepts a generic for our GraphQL context. If we update the context value to be of type string, we can immediately see that we have an error within our context. If we check on out the special context value, we can see this must be of type string. If we change this, all of the errors are resolved. However, we still do not have any type safety inside of our resolvers, and this is because that generic is still of type any. Let's go ahead and remove the generic that we passed to create server. And next, let's update the codegen.yml file to include some custom configuration for our context type. Using module imports, we can pass the file server and the exported interface GraphQL context. And when we save the codegen.yml file, all we need to do now is run the GraphQL code generator. I'm using the script codegen to do this. And now if we check back inside the types.ts file, we no longer have context of type any, but our new GraphQL context that we exported from the server file. Now, inside of our resolvers, we can see here that we have the special context value inside of the resolvers argument. Then I can pass that to my resolver, start the server, and see that value passed to us inside of graphical. 